Hello YouTube, welcome back. Thank you for uh, tuning in as always. So just a little video from me today. So today is Saturday. First actual sunny day, despite the uh, hoodie. It's quite warm, I assure you. Um, so what I thought I'd do, last week I found myself a, a nice stick. <laughs> um, about, I don't know, four foot long. <clears throat> So I have absolutely no idea what tree this came off of. I don't know, you guys might be able to tell me if you can get an idea what that bark type is. Anyway, but it's not rotten. It's flexible but firm, fairly light. So I figure it'd make a good, uh, what are they called? Walking stick? Walking pole? Whatever you want to call it. Um, tomorrow, my little man and I, we're going to do a, you know, like a three or four mile walk on the North Downs Way. So, I found a route we're going to do. I'll take you through that tomorrow. So if you're going to tune in and watch that, that'd be fantastic. However, today, I'm going to make my, uh, my probable one time dog stick <laughs> into a bit of a walking stick so I'll stop talking and I'll uh, do some whittling now I haven't got one of these big lovely bushcraft knives but what I have got is my little Gerber suspension so I will use the straight edge blade on that um, maybe if I hit some of these kind of knots I might use the little saw Otherwise, I'll crack on, stop talking, and uh, hopefully in about an hour's time, or before the missus gets back and starts nagging, I will, uh, I'll have myself a little walking stick. Cheers. Just to say, first things first, I'm going to strip the bark off. nice. It was good in the hand. Got a bit of sandpaper in the garage so I might just run a bit of sandpaper over it. Alright, here we go. Some faulty grit because that's all I've got. <laughs> I like all normal people keep this stuff in your living room, you know. As it's all I've got, that's what I left to do. I think before we might have been a bit aggressive. I'm just gonna go and have a look, see if I've got any other any other grip. So yeah, a little bit finer. Alright, here we go. 80 grit paper. <coughs> and rightly or wrongly, 120 grit wet. 120 grit wet and dry. Oh, make do and all that.
Alright, let's try the 80. It's a lot nicer. Get in there. All right. Attack it with a bit of this 120. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Look at that. Lovely. Right, I think next stop, cut this, cut this top bit off. Now then, let's see how good the Gerber's little saw is. Uh, where are we? Here we go. love the locking feature on this. Now I could just go six foot that way, throw it in a vice, get a big saw out and chop that off in about three seconds. <coughs> but I'm not going to. For YouTube, I will struggle. And hopefully not cut my leg off. And stop getting text messages. There we go. Hey, did it. Pretty nice clean cut. A little bit of tearing, but not too bad. Very hard wood, whatever this is. All right. So I'll rub, rub that cut area down in the corners. Start off with this faulty grip just to take some material off. Look at that, it's actually chamfered it. The 80 grit. And finally, some one swing. enough with that. Nice and round, nice and soft. Feels good. Right, okay. Get our guns out, there we go. It's pretty summertime. Alright. Start stripping some bark. Still got a fair ways to go. Right, we are slowly getting there, but it's taking some time. So, the effort to speed things up, I'm gonna switch off, carry on, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Right, here we go then. So it's taken me about, I don't know, 
<coughs> half an hour or so. Strips all the bark off of it. I've been over here with the 80 grit paper, the, uh, oh, the 40 grit, then the 80 grit. I'm just giving it a final little buff with the 120. Just take off the real kind of nasty lumps and bumps. I've done most of it already. holes in there so I gather that means at some point or even now it had woodworm I don't think it will last too long it's a bit rotten up the end here as well what I have done I've cut it off at an angle <clears throat> so it's got to be a bite in the ground if I need it must confess didn't do all this with the Gerber kind of after the footage that you've seen we got a bit cheesed off and it was taking too long. So, back on the blunt chisel. That took off most of the bark. And um, cut off the knots. <laughs> ah, quite happy with that. Two minds whether to bother wasting the stain on it, to be fair. I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll stain it. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go and do that. Right, I'm fast running out of battery on my phone, so I'm gonna go and get my charger, plug you in, get some stain, Ooh. stain this, and just hope that by the morning when I wanna go for a walk, it's nice and dry. Right, see you back in a minute. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I will, um, so in tomorrow's episode, when I do the walk, I'll upload a bit of footage as well, or maybe like on the walk video, I'll upload some footage of the walking stick, walking pole, or whatever it's called. Let's show you how it looks, um, comment on it while I'm walking around. If there's anything you'd like to see me try or have a go at making, give me a shout, I'll always give it a go. Do a bit of woodwork, kind of throughout the year anyway. I've got some big old pine logs in there which I'm going to make a garden bench out of um, so if you're interested in that sort of thing let me know I'm more than happy to share it with you my little man's got a playhouse on stilts which is right next to the camera again we, we did quite a bit of work on that um, if you're interested in that sort of thing let me know I'll show you that otherwise I'll take you on my walk tomorrow on the North Downs way um, it'll only be a small section because I've got a little man with me, so I don't want to take him too far because it's a long way to carry him back, of course. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of a humorous take on how someone might make one of these things if they've got no skill and no equipment. <coughs> um, yeah. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell. I realise I'm not uploading too much at the moment. But I will try and, now the weather's brightened up, I'll try and uh, be a bit more frequent in my videos. <coughs> um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Alright, guys, so this is about, I don't know, where are we? About three hours later from when I filmed the, the making of footage. I realise I've already closed the video out, so if you're watching this and you watch an extra bit off the back of that, just thought I'd give you a quick little view. Then mind the dirty tyres. Not looking too bad. All right, don't get me wrong, not the best thing in the world, but it finished all right. It's nice and smooth, no sharp edges. So, it's got a bit of a natural, natural bow to it. I'm sure you that's not, not, not animal poo of any, any kind. It's just mud.
that it's a little bit tacky still. So I think, oh well, not think, I hope for tomorrow it would have dried and hardened off a bit. So at the time of filming this is around five, I think, six, I think six o'clock p.m. So I shouldn't think we'll be out walking tomorrow till somewhere around 9 a.m. ish. Try and get out before the masses. Uh, yeah, there you go.